Paramount Pictures. It's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. I love that name. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Write down our toll-free telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. Oh, batten down the hatches, boys. Where do you hear this? <laughs> One of the more popular videos on YouTube. For reasons I don't completely understand. I'm looking at the Fox News website. This woman's name is Joy Nash. And she produced a video posted on YouTube called A Fat Rant. It says here it's a video that urges chubby people to embrace their weight. She's 224 pounds. Fox News says the video is a sensation. By the way, she's an aspiring actress, like so many on YouTube. Ho oh, hum. <laughs> you know what an aspiring actress is? Somebody who'd love to have a gate pass and be in here on the lot of Paramount Pictures, but will never get in. She's going to be stuck out there. She's producing films for YouTube productions. I'm trying. The video is seven and a half minutes, and it's generated more than 812,000 views since being posted on YouTube on March 17th. She's 26 years old. She works a day job as an office assistant in Los Angeles as she waits for her big professional break. Well, if you weigh 224 pounds, you need a big break. Really, if you want a big break, uh, you probably you sit down on a chair, you'll get a big break before long. Yes. She told Fox News, I figured that some people would identify with it, but I had no idea that it would become so far reaching. And we're going to play you an edit. We're not going to play you seven and a half, but we're going to play you an edited version of this. Some highlights. It says here that Joy Nash wrote this monologue six years ago for an acting class at the University of Southern California. By the way, Living here in L.A., this is so typical. I, if you don't live in the belly of the beast of the entertainment industry, as we do, I mean, for Christ's sake, we're working on the lot at Paramount, okay? Uh, this is just so common of people who can't get work. This is like their last dying gasp to try to get into the business. They post a video on YouTube hoping somebody will see it. The other day I was looking at a video of an ex of mine who at 38 years old still hasn't gotten a gig of any note. But she keeps trying. <laughs> so she put a video up there, hoping somebody will see it. I saw it. But there you go. Says here, at the time she wrote the monologue, Joy Nash's best friend was dying of brain cancer. She said, it made me angry when I would hear myself and people around me making excuses as to why they couldn't do things. When my friend, who really can't do things, is never, ever taking no for an answer. So it says here, the five foot eight inch student penned a love letter of sorts to her body size, which doctors have categorized as moderately obese. Oh, they're being polite. You're, <laughs> you're five eight and you're 224 pounds. You're a woman and you're moderately obese. How much would it take to be morbidly obese? You gotta be. They, they did not say she's moderately obese. Come on. Says here, Nash filmed a fat rant six months ago as a clip for her acting resume. Says here, the actress who says she eats healthy and exercises regularly rallies instead against those shops and designers that 
refused to make clothing in her size, which is 18. She's only moderately obese. She's a size 18. That's right. Well, let's listen to some of this, and I'll tell you the other details about the video, uh, rather than just simply talking about it. Let's listen to the audio from, and again, we're not playing the whole, uh, the whole uh, rant. We're playing edited portions of it. And we're not taking these out of context to make it look any better or worse. Just for time considerations, we've cut this down. So uh, here it is. This is Joy Nash as seen on YouTube. According to my doctors, I'm moderately obese. If you ask the fashion industry, I barely deserve to be allowed to wear clothing. And I'm definitely, definitely fatter than the girl who should not be wearing that. I'm fat, and it's okay. It doesn't mean I'm stupid or ugly or lazy or... Of course it doesn't. In fact, it probably means the exact opposite. It probably means the exact opposite. Of course it doesn't mean you're fat. You're fat doesn't mean you're stupid or lazy. You have to work a lot harder when you're fat. And uh, you probably have to study a lot harder when you're fat, too, because there's no guy who's going to pay your bills. Why would anyone think somebody as fat is also stupid or lazy? You're too lazy to exercise, yes. But lazy as far as not being ambitious about a career or something? I think fat women have to work a lot harder than the rest of us. Because they're going to have to pay for everything. Buy their own houses buy their own clothes, buy their own accessories, pay their own car loans, pay their own student loans. They got to work hard. There's no doubt about it. Or selfish. I'm fat. The vast majority of the time, I don't let the tiny little minds get me down. It happens a lot. I hear someone talking about 200 pounds. Like it's breathtaking. It is. I weigh 224 and my quality of life has not suffered dramatically. <laughs> It's three little letters. What are you so afraid of? Now, America's in the midst of this obesity epidemic. I'm sure you've heard about it. I'm not saying that's not true. I'm not saying we should all be sitting around, patting ourselves on the back, cramming ourselves full of junk food with our sweatpants stapled to the sofa. Obviously, diet and exercise are vital. I am saying that if you do those things, eat right and exercise, and you still aren't thin, your life is not over. By the way, I got to say something about that. Fat people love to say they're eating right and exercising. They love to say that. They love to say that. But come on. You got to be kidding me. You know what? Unless you have a thyroid problem, and about 2% of adult humans have a thyroid problem that causes them to gain weight. Unless you've got a thyroid problem, you're eating too much and you're not moving your ass enough. That's the way it is. By the way, I've, you know, I've had struggled with being fat for many years, on and off. I've been fat. I've been less fat. I've actually been normal weight. I've been all of those. When I was 17, I believe this or not, I weighed 130 pounds. So I've been all over the road. My dad was rail thin. He did not have big bones. He had small bones. And when my dad uh, got fat, it was because he was eating like a pig and drinking uh, four, six packs of beer a day. That, that's why he got fat. And then later on, he lost the weight. He was all over the road. But, but people who eat right and exercise, they are not fat. They're just not. People who are fat are not eating right, and they're not exercising. They're, they're, they're just not. This is, these people are lying to themselves. America needs to rearrange her thinking, and I think fat people are just the ones to kick it off. Tell people how much you weigh. It's just a stinking number. It does not reflect on your intelligence, your work ethic, or your character. And protest with your pocketbooks, people. Shop at stores that sell halter tops in triple X. Forget about tent dresses. Don't even think about trying to squeeze into normal sizes. I got this friend, Krista, it drives me friggin' crazy. Whenever we talk about this stuff, she gives these ridiculous head-in-the-sand answers with such sincerity, I want to kill her. She's fatter than I am, but she refuses to acknowledge the fashion industry has a problem. Joy! Oh my god, that's such a cute skirt. Thanks. I got it at Ghetto Elegance. It's a dress, actually. That store is amazing. They have sizes all the way up to 5X. That's not... That's not... 5X, is it? Um, no, it's 
3x. Well, it doesn't look that big. Well, it is. Is she kidding me? I'm thrilled someone's making sizes this big. How many times have I wandered through H&M or Guess or, or Urban Outfitters? I see this incredible red dress wrap around with this flowy organza crap. It's perfect. They have it in size two, four, four, zero, double zero, 12, 10, getting warmer, and that's it. Sometimes they squeeze all the way up to a 14. I wear an 18, at least. Sometimes 20. Often, dare I say it, triple X. Now, wait a minute. If, if you're that fat, I say, why waste your money on designer outfits? I mean, even if they made a designer outfit, who wants to look at you anyway? What is the point? You might as well throw in the triple X towel, for God's sake. I mean, I do not understand this desire of fat women to buy designer outfits. Do you really think we're going to look at you and go, oh, she's hot? We're not. <laughs> Please. If anthropology won't open its eyes and make clothing that fits me, they don't need my money. No more spending an hour and a half in a store, vainly searching for a size larger than 14, eventually realizing the only things I'm allowed to buy here are socks and hair clips. No, thank you. I got living to do, baby. Oh, Jesus. Now, let's just talk about the acting element here. You know, we're sitting here on the lot at Paramount. There's uh, the plenty of producers and directors. Maybe somebody's listening. Would this video get you to hire this woman as an actress? I'm not even talking about the fact that she's moderately obese, as she claims her doctor says. I think she's morbidly obese, but that's fine. Uh, was this great acting? Huh? That's That's for one thing. Okay. And for another thing, this is just another delusional female who thinks that uh, she's eating well and exercising and she just can't lose weight. It's like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? It says here in the story from foxnews.com, it says the low-budget video has elicited nearly 8,200 comments and 58 video responses, as well as mentions on Entertainment Tonight and in the Los Angeles Times. Well, so did the cat in the washing machine video. What does this tell us? It says here, last month, the New York Times dubbed Nash the de facto leader of the YouTube fat rant tribe. What is that? What does the New York Times know about YouTube? <sighs> On May 27th, the New York Times wrote, in general, the video responders are profoundly moved by a fat rant and take Ms. Nash's video as an occasion paradoxically to expose their bodies as if inviting comment. Oh, if you could see how many fatties send me photos of themselves and ask me to rate them. I would love to get a shrink on this show to tell me why that happens. I mean, I must tell you, these are cows. Not all of them, but there are cows who send me their photographs and then say, would you rate me? <laughs> you don't want me rating you, sweetheart. You don't. I, 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 you're, you're delusional if you think I'm going to tell you you're a nine. It's not happening. Says here, the rant's positive message may be a hard pill to swallow for those who've grown up striving to be thin, said Charlene Hessa hyphen Bieber. Another hyphenated last name. I love those. A sociology professor at Boston College and author of the book, The Cult of Thinness. You're in this land where many people are striving to lose weight, Hessa hyphen Bieber said. And the kind of irony of it all is the thinner we get, the fatter we become as a society. We have a Big Mac in one hand and a Splenda in the other. By the way, speaking of those hyphenated last names, I got the greatest email from a listener who wanted to know, you know, if, if the mayor of Los Angeles, Mayor Antonio Villaragosa, gets a divorce, will he go back to using his maiden name? <laughs> Did you notice, by the way, his kids? His kids have what used to be his last name. They have his maiden name.
It was a picture of two of his daughters in the newspaper. They've got his maiden name. They don't have his married name. <laughs> I'm waiting to see the real reason, by the way. Speaking of the mayor of Los Angeles, just to take this into a side trip for a second, I'm waiting to see the real reason the mayor of Los Angeles is separating from his wife. Because as we all know, he has a history with being a poon hound. He already got nailed once, cheating on his wife, at least. It's going to be fascinating to find out what he's been doing in his free time, why he needs a separation. I, You know what? Much as he tries to come off as this pussified, sensitive Democrat, I think he's one of us. I do. He's in the closet, but he's one of us. <laughs> come on out, Antonio. Come out of the closet. Come on. Just admit you're one of us. You're one of us. You're a womanizer like the rest of us. Come on, step it up. Stop being a sensitive Democrat for a second. Come out into the sun and admit who you are. Be proud. Come on. <laughs> Poon Hound Pride Day. They're going to be holding that. Where are they holding that? City of Industry. A big parade. <laughs> Just had to say that. Do we know if he's going to be using his maiden name or he's going to keep his married name? What do you know? Don't know. Anyway, all right. You've heard, look, you've heard the video. You know enough about this woman. And now I want to get your reaction to the Fat Rant video running on YouTube. We played you a piece of it. I don't think this woman sounds like she has a future as an actress. And uh, honestly, if you weigh 224 pounds, come on. How many, how many roles are there going to be? The only roles they're going to be for her are on her gut. You know what I'm talking about? Big, sweaty roles. That's the only thing she can hope for in show business. <laughs> Look down. Take a number two pencil, and instead of putting it under your boobs, put it between roll number two and roll number three. And then you pull out that sweaty pencil. Yeah. That's the kind of roles you got <laughs> in your future, sweetheart. I'll tell you right now. <laughs> All right. Your calls are coming up. Tom, Tom like it. <laughs> One eight hundred five eight hundred. How many bong loads have you done today? I'm just curious. <laughs> Good catch. <laughs> uh, three or four. Where's my head? <laughs> the Tom Like It Show. Eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. We appreciate it. No, oh, Dean, we can't put a rumor like that on the air because there's no way of verifying it. I don't care. I don't care if the person says they know the person. I don't care. There's no way to verify it. There's no way to know if that's true. I mean, if that person wants to come on and tell us anything she knows about the mayor, that's fine. But we're not going to put that on the air. I don't care if she's pregnant. We're not putting that on the air. It's irrelevant. We do not know who the father is. Could be anybody. That would be a... Come on. What kind of horrible rumor would that be to start? For Christ's sake. Somebody calls up here and tries to get on the air and say that the mayor knocked up a 30-year-old and uh, has a mistress. Look... I'm sure that's not true. I'm sure it's just some stupid rumor. We can't put that on the air. And we won't. Tell the person we're not going to say that on the air. Because it would be wrong. Whatever the truth is will eventually come out. And uh, if there is somebody who knows something for real, you know, come on down and tell us and tell us your first and last name, too. Don't be calling in here anonymously and trying to spread rumors like that, please. It's just a stupid rumor. All right, 1-800-5800-TOM. That is our telephone number. We're talking about the fat rant, which is uh, a video made by somebody named Joy Nash. By the way, also has a MySpace page. If you'd like to take a look at some of her photos, you get a good look at her. In addition to her video there on YouTube. 
We have a casting director on the phone. This is Marie. Marie, you're on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom Likas. Long-time listener, first-time caller. Thank you, darling. The most, yeah, I'm a casting director. I've done a show before, too, where we're actually looking for people specifically overweight. She is, according to the BMI, she's like, you know, she's obese. She's not morbid. She's not 100 pounds overweight. But she's big. But the point is that she's not entertaining. She's lame. I would give her 10 seconds max. The most attention she's going to ever get in her life is probably the attention you're giving her right now. It's about personality. And as far as I'm concerned, the girlie doesn't have it. Her monologue was so boring. And the fact that she took herself seriously enough to actually tape it is indicative, I think, of pipe dreams that are lived by everybody, thin and fat, you know? It didn't sound like a professional actress to me. Oh, not at all. And even to somebody who'd be on a reality show. Like, I wouldn't even cast her as herself, you know, let alone act. That was acting. That was a lame, you know, she's sitting in a room talking to a video camera. For all, you know what I mean? And I love the, the sound effects of, of the hangers in the background sliding across. I'm just like, oh, yeah. what are you talking about, lady? Oh, yeah. Well, uh, you know you know what's going on here, uh, and uh, this is the deal. Uh, you know, all the uh, news stories being written, because you know how many fatties work in the newsrooms of America, the ones who don't get on camera or anything, the, the writers, the editors, what have you, they're the ones who are making a big deal about this. Yeah. But What's the commissary food that they eat all day? You know, CS commissary. I believe me, when I worked in an office, I can put on I can put on weight too. It's all the the croissant sandwiches they're eating in the morning. <laughs> it's the scones at Starbucks. That's what they're doing. It's the Doritos and free soda in the fridges. <laughs> well, but first of all, to get to that table at craft services, you first have to get a job as an actress. Right. Which uh, I don't think this woman has had recently. Just an opinion. You know, and her and her tape's not going to get her an acting job. You know, I, I like the YouTube self-promotion. I mean, there is some relative success bands have received by advertising on YouTube. You know, you know, kudos to them. Congratulations. It's a it's a shot in the dark. I think it's just a bored girl, you know, and the fact that she got the attention, cute. All right, fine. She'll feel a little better about herself. And, and being 224, okay. I mean, all I have to say is her weight is probably the least limiting thing in her life. She would have been better off doing a read of Hamlet or... She could Hamlet. She'd probably eat a Hamlet if she saw one. Uh, no, she should. Uh, should I, like if you're really looking for an acting job, how about you do a read of like a real script or some real material and and show what you've got. Or try anything and do it well. Do anything well, right. for God's sake. She does nothing well. I mean, it's boring to me. I, I listen to her, and there's no inflection in her voice. For me, it's personality. I cast reality shows. I put a tape in. I watch you for 10 seconds. If I love you, you know, you have a shot in the dark. But if, if you're just lame and complaining about your life, no one feels sorry for fat people. It's really hard to put, you know, a beautiful person like, for example, a gorgeous rich girl like Paris, Hill, or Paris Hilton. You don't put her on TV so you feel sorry for her. You put her on TV to see her destroyed. People in America want to destroy the beautiful blonde girls and it's hard to feel sorry for a fat person so the chances of you getting on tv and playing any role you know aside from being felt sorry for is is not likely i tend to agree with you marie but you're right there in the trenches you know it better than anybody thanks for the call absolutely my time love you take me out any style you want baby of course i will darling It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. It's Josh on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Ah. Oh, Josh. Long-time listener, first-time caller. First time I've gotten through. It's great to talk to you, man. I know. Well, first off, I mean, I think we know how the casting director lady keeps the weight off. It's with about 92 lattes a day. I may not be a professional, but there are those token people out there in movies and in TV where they're basically just cast to be fat or to be ugly and be ridiculed by one of the attractive or handsome people on the show. So while she may say she looks for personality, I can't really recall ever being entertained by... But even when they want fat people in a movie, they take good-looking women or relatively good-looking women or at least women who are in good shape and make them fat, uh, like they did with Renee Zellweger for those Bridget Jones movies. Well, yeah, well, there's, there's that, too. And they that, don't want you know, really yeah. fat women if they can avoid it. Well, of course, but there are some movies like, let's say, Shallow Hal. You know, they did some fat suits with that, but then they also did, uh, you know, just fat or ugly people who yeah. played. And in that case, ugly people. And in that case, those people have to have acting ability. Did you hear any acting ability in this? Uh, what you heard the three and a half minutes we played here? No, she was pretty awful. I mean, I'll give her that. But I, I think we're going a little far with uh, with Miss Casting Director there saying that she has nothing else going on in her life because she heard a three minute tape of a girl who. Uh, 
you know, is overweight and wants some attention. I also don't necessarily agree that they have to have that much acting talent. Don't you kind of think if you're willing to go out there and just be ridiculed for being fat or ugly and that's your role is fat girl number one, they don't even really credit you as... You no, know, I think you have to have character. acting ability. I The only time you don't need acting ability is when you're really, really hot. Agreed. I mean, that's how Britney Spears got a movie. Well, you if you yeah, recall, absolutely. she was in a movie. Uh, you know, Britney Spears at one time was very, very hot. Well, if we also recall, though, uh, I think Cameron Diaz made a statement a couple weeks back about how, uh, you know, what, what, she wants to be treated the same as the 300-pound actresses with warts. So maybe they're out there somewhere. Well, uh, you know, uh, treating a woman who has uh, acne scarring, I think that's perfectly a uh, reasonable position. <laughs> Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-866. Someone actually asked me, can we hurry up and have three dates? <laughs> oh, oh, a Likas 101 graduate. I guess. Yeah. yeah. It's a dork that he would say it out loud. <laughs> oh, see that? He should be a little more subtle about that. Yeah, should have been. Like pretend he's yeah. interested in you or something. I mean, that, that, that would be more appropriate. Yeah, exactly. The Tom Likas Show. Tom like a sh show. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. We're talking about Joy Nash and her video called A Fat Rant. It's on YouTube. And it's going to get touch of all the fatties who like to sit there in the newsroom and write about other fatties. Here's how the uh, video ends in case you haven't seen it yet. So... I'm through with excuses. I am spreading the word. Fat is a descriptive physical characteristic. It's not an insult or an obscenity or a death sentence. When you see a fat person, look at them in the face and smile. You should do that to everybody, but don't forget to do it to fat people too. There's a whole nother world out there, baby. Get happy in that skin you're in. <laughs> Why is this getting written about? It's just another loser on YouTube who can't find a, an acting job. There's nothing particularly deep or interesting about this. Are you kidding me? John on the Tom Likas show, hello. Yeah, Tom, this is John, long-time listener, first-time call getting through. Good. How are you doing today? Great. My main thing about this, Tom, is I just think it's probably another fat chick that took way too many cheeseburgers to the mouth, and now she wants America to feel sorry for. I'm in the Marine Corps, and, yeah, I bust my ass on a daily basis, making sure I stay in shape, make sure I still stay fit so I can get sent over to Iraq and fight for these people, being lazy and have the choice if they want to work out today or not. I don't get that choice, but, hey, I'm fine with it. But I got to still deal with fat people that complain about being big, and I don't see them run after work, and all they do is eat like six times a day. And all they want to do is have people feel sorry for them about them not being able to lose weight, and I think it's just another fat person trying to get that done by America. And, and you're trying to get jobs as an actress, give it up. Give it up. I know. Most people in this day and age realize that America's idea of someone that they want to see in the movies is a skinny, hot, blonde, brunette, someone with a nice ass, and that looks like they stay in shape. No one wants to see a fat chick that's probably taking five cheeseburgers for breakfast. That's right. You well, are you are right about that, John. Justin on the top like his show. Hello. Hello, Dad. Hello, son. Look, man, fat chicks are disgusting to begin with. The only thing worse than a fat chick is ones with, like, a lot of self-confidence and with an attitude. They strut around. They think they're, like, the hottest thing on earth, and they're not. We should actually all pull together and come up with, like, right in, in the, the companies that even thought of the idea of putting sexy and cutie and hottie and stuff like that on extra large or plus size shirts, you know? I'm all over it. It just pisses me off. It pisses me off to see these people. They are. Every time I go to the beach, I actually have to carry along a sign with me that says no fat chicks. <laughs> <laughs> come on. You do not. I swear. I'll send you pictures. 
<laughs> they're not disgusting, and they're everywhere. And they seem to, and with, with the more they're on TV, and the fat chicks on TV saying it's okay to be fat, it seems to be getting worse. Oh, yeah, there's no doubt about that. Alyssa on the Tom Likas Show, hello. Hi, Dad, how are you? Dear, I'm doing great. Fantastic. I just wanted to add a little fuel to the fire and say that she is also a paid model. The girl walked on the Jean-Paul Gaultier run season at Paris Fashion Show. You were talking about Paris Fashion Week? Yeah. She's a paid model. Really? I swear to you, I am, I am not making this up. She is a paid model. Oh, disgusting. Yep. Who wants to look at that? I guess somebody does, or maybe it makes the other girls look like, like that much more fantastic. I don't know, but I swear to you, that her with the skinny models, there's pictures of her backstage at these shows. There's pictures of her walking down in a couture, like, teddy with a big old coat on her. Like, it's crazy, crazy stuff. But she's paid. She's making a living at it. I mean. Unbelievable. Sorry? I said unbelievable. Alyssa, thank you. 1-800-5-800-TOM. It's Chris on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Are you there, Chris? Oh, sorry. I cut out for a second. Mm. Hello, Tom. Hello. First, uh, first time caller. Ancient history listener, man. I've listened to you since you were on the buzz in Washington. Wow. Yeah. Also, uh, I had a comment about this. I mean, it's just ridiculous how these chicks, I think, these chicks think just because they see, like, uh, for example, the ugly Betty chick, uh, America something. America Ferreira, yeah. Yeah, her. They think just because they see her on TV making a living and she's a little bigger than extra other, act other actresses, sorry, um, they think it's all right to, you know, post all these YouTube videos and stuff like that and show people things they do not want to see. And rant about things that people do not care about, such as uh, the clothes. Who cares? Yeah, well, clothes. well, yeah. Go buy big ones. Well, I mean, I, uh, these women are delusional if they think that buying hot designer outfits is going to make us forget about the fact that they're fat or make us think, ooh, look at her. She's pretty. <laughs> exactly, man. I mean, I got to say the most disgusting thing ever on the planet is when you see a group of skinny, beautiful, blonde, brunettes just hang out at the mall, you know? Just walk by, see them. And then you get that sudden image of a giant, gargantuan woman with tight little sweats on that say juicy in rhinestone. I know, I know, I know. The, uh, <laughs> the word juicy on their ass, and there's still a lot of pink around it. <laughs> yeah, juicy. <laughs> That's true, though, man. But you know what's hey. juicy? Those fat rolls. Those That's fat rolls are juicy. Oh, it's disgusting. Makes me want to throw up. Chris, thank you. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. This is David on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. How's it going, Tom? Great. Yeah, Tom, you know, it's just another one of those... Uh, I'm just getting tired of this, Tom. It's like, you know, like it's okay to be fan, this and that. It's like, you know, it's like you said, she has, um, she has a lot of things to do, right? Supposedly her. Now, um, you know, first of all, was it that she's looking for um, different sizes in stores or something like that? That's what she said, right? She's going through the clothes. Right. Okay, yeah. Uh, you know, I thought you were heading with, like, you know, stop wasting your time in the store. Actually, just take down the shower curtain, you know? Be easier for you, not cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> and, it's, and it's not going to make any difference <laughs> to the rest of us. Exactly. And it's like, you know... um, it's just making excuses, you know. It's like you don't get over it. Stop making videos about it. You know, you don't see this uh, homeless guy or nothing like that making videos about how he's unemployed and this and that. It's okay to be unemployed. It's a new trend, you know. It's like it's getting old. Um, well, people make excuses for their own shortcomings exactly, and then being proud of them. Exactly. I mean, she used to live from her friend. She said her friend had um, what was it, brain cancer or something? Something like that. Right. So I mean, you know, learn from that. Don't don't live with a disease. I mean, it is a disease, really, because if you look at it, it's like don't live with it. Try to make it better, right? Exactly. Yeah, so that's all I got to say. Tom, get to me out OG style. <laughs> you, know, you know what that is? <laughs> yeah, yes, I do. Here you go. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> that's a bomb. The bomb. Bomb. Give him the bomb. There we go. Eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Cassie on the Tom Likas show. Hello. How you doing? Great. Good. I just wanted to call in. You know, I I 
always complain to my managers to let me take my lunch after three just so that I can listen to you. I love it. And I, I get in my car and I hear this chick talking on, you know, YouTube. It is disgusting that fat people are trying to make it okay to be fat. You know, it, there's so many things, with, you know, with obesity and, you know, diabetes, health issues, you know, on and on. Why is it okay for people to sit there and say that being fat's okay? I, I don't understand it. You know, I, I was in school for six months. I ended up, you know, I'm 5'10". I ended up gaining 200 pounds. But when I came home, it was my, the only thing I wanted to do was drop the weight. You know, and now I'm 145 pounds. I'm 5'10", and I'm so happy with it. Um, I had a herniated disc because of being so heavy, and now I don't have the problem like that. And, you know, I just wanted to call real quick because i got to get back into work and just say, you know, it's disgusting that people are trying to make it okay to be fat when it's not. Yep, and uh, that includes all the stores where, you know, there are side to size triple X and uh, of, of designer clothing and what have you. It, it's just outrageous. Oh, and, you know, it, it is. You know, I, I work for a sporting goods company, and, you know, the most we carry is a double XL, but it's sad that people have to go to the specialized, you know, fat people store. They just drop the weight. They could shop, you know, wherever they wanted and wear the cute stuff and look good in it and, and pay, feel good and about pay, themselves. And pay half the price for it. Oh, exactly, because, you know, they're charging them more for the extra material that they got to put over them fat-ass bodies. That's right. But it's just, I, it's disgusting, and... You know, my mom, she's probably 350, and it's disgusting, and I wish she would lose the weight because I have to worry about her, you know, driving and having a heart attack. I completely know? understand, Cassie. Thank you. Mary on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi. I was listening to the conversation about um, the lady on YouTube talking about her weight, and I agree that it's unhealthy to be fat, but I'm just curious. I mean, I, you know, I, I respect your show. I listen to you. And a lot of times I may disagree, but I'm just curious. I've seen your picture online. You're fat. Yeah, I am, and I've I've said that this hour. Okay, so what makes it okay for you to be all like out of shape? And I mean, I think you're. It's not. It's not actually. And uh, I do now. Uh, I work out. I I am eating better, and I am working on it. Uh, there is no excuse for it, and okay. that's why I don't accept excuses from others. Okay. Okay, I just I heard the topic and I was like, okay, that's ironic. Well, there you see again. You know, you 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 are you have convenient hearing because I've said this on the air repeatedly, and idiots like you call in here and act like you've got some scoop, some you know story that nobody's heard before. Everybody knows the story about me. Everybody who listens knows the story about me. Everybody. Yeah, you're not telling anything people don't like already I said, know. I heard, I, I heard the, com the topic. I just tuned in. You I'm don't fine. hear me on YouTube telling everybody that it's okay to be fat. You don't. Right, right. And, Period. And like I said, I, re I respect. I respect. And if this woman didn't come on YouTube and try to try to try to get publicity by by doing this rant, we never would have talked about her. It's her own fault. Right. Right. Well, as long as you're working out, as long as you know. I am, and I don't need to repeat everything you've already said. Thank you. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Tim on the Tom Like His Show, hello. Hey, Tom, I disagree with you a little bit in that a lot of these fat chicks are plain stupid. So let me give them a little education. An average healthy woman should probably eat between 1,200 and 1,500 calories a day. And chicks just like this, I see them all the time at the office, and they insist they're eating healthy. They start with the 900-calorie muffin, drink 300 calories of juice, snack on trail mix before lunch, about 500 calories worth. Then, oh, I'm just going to eat a salad and drown it in 500 calories of ranch dressing while slurping down about 400 calories of Coca-Cola. That puts them at 2,600 calories. That's before dinner or even a little late-night hagen does, let alone. So, you know, these chicks are in denial. <laughs> That's exactly right. They are in denial. Stop Love trying to tell us how off. beautiful you are. Yeah, well, thank you for that. I appreciate it. Our email address is my name. It's tom at blowmeuptom.com. Tom at blowmeuptom.com. Or you can go to our website and hear our show streaming live. Just go to blowmeuptom.com between 3 and 8 Pacific Time. Click on the Listen Live button and you'll be listening live. The Tom Likas Show.